one Bob. We're rolling. In a hotel, not even kind of ready to go. Bob, you always had good taste, and I always knew you were that girl. I always knew you were that girl. I always knew you were going to be that girl. I see you quit drinking again. <laughs> That was supposed no, 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 listen to me. No, that was supposed to be a read. But, you know. <laughs> Bitch, can you stop recording? Wait, don't do it yet, because I have to I have to plug in my microphone. But once you I hope you are recording. Why have you you better be recording immediately right now. It is the Thorgy Thor show, always was, and welcome to Purse First Impressions. Now, Mitch, Mitch, cut to the theme song. Thor G back in town. Um, woo. <laughs> well, Mitch, I need you to re restart, restart the recording so I can switch to my nicer camera. Hold. Hold. Bob, what did you just tell? Wait, no, 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 no. Bob, you just told me I'm a little OCD and well, a little what? Well, you said a little OCD and I said and also a, a little D-R-U-N-K. <laughs> well, what does that mean? D-R-U-N-K? D-R-Q-R-Y-D-R-U-N-K. What does that mean? Thurgy, what does you think it is? Do not resuscitate. I don't know. What are you talking about? Bitch drunk. Thurgy. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> ah, man. Yes and no. I don't think... Wait, did you have a gig tonight? Did you, did you, did, what, what gig did you have tonight? Uh, I took a local gig in Brooklyn, and we view the RuPaul's Drag Race All-Stars at Tailgate in Brooklyn every Thursday night. Work. So uh, I just came from that. It is now, what, 4 o'clock in the morning in New York, and I'm here with you, and I want to talk about the episode. Well, I also want to talk about the fact that we have we have reached that milestone. Oh, fixing my wig. Ignore that, everyone. You you broke the, the Instagram Wait, curse. Wait, can you move your hairline for me again? That was amazing. Woo! That we, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, before, wait, wait, wait. Before we get started, can I do something that I was planning, and I just want to do it right now? What? There's a birthday among us, and I don't have any cake at my house. But I do have an avocado that I shoved two <laughs> candles in, and yeah, I did. And the price tag is on the other side of it, which I think is more that's more relevant. Can we sing, Mitch? Happy birthday! Yeah, you you lead it. Happy, Happy birthday! Bir we, we, we oh, I forgot you're tone deaf. No, <laughs> no, it's because there is a lag. No, no, you are horrible. Okay, off the top, what are you thinking about this episode? Like off the Okay, first of all, Raja won twenty thousand dollars for that lip. It is so crazy to me that girls are winning twenty K for a lip sync. It is why I mean also congratulations. I'm at this point, I wanna announce out loud that I am team Raja. Uh, I will say this, and I said it last episode, is that she is the best in like the confessionals, like the boy confessionals. She she says best, like she's like, and how about this? And she leans into the camera and I'm like, <laughs> I like love everything she has to say. She's amazing in every way. Such an entertainer. I love what she talks. She's like, I want to say this real quick. Can we please give a big toast to Trinity the Tuck Taylor? She did an amazing <laughs> job in the challenge. And I think that we need to acknowledge that she is doing a very good job on the show. <laughs> Something about the way that she talks. For a brief moment, can we talk about the fact that basically everyone chose Jiggly Caliente's lipstick, with the exception of Trinity K. Bonet. Trinity Who K. Was Bonet. Like, By the way, I chose you, and I was like, <laughs> "Is it shady to choose a girl because she chose you?" <sighs> that takes a second to consider, doesn't it? It's like I mean, it also it takes a caliber of a person to be like vindictive like that. But what made it interesting though was that Yada Sophia was the only one who picked Trinity, and then Trinity was the only person left who picked Yara Sophia. So it was like, 
girl, like, what do you do? What do you do with that? I personally think they picked each other's names out of. I think they. I think that Yara Sophia picked her name because she was. She wanted to eliminate someone who was stronger, and I think that Trinity picked her name out of spite. That's what I think. But didn't say it. Also, if I said that, would you say this, Bobby? You were like. I'm picking this girl's name because she picked mine. You probably would. I would say it. Yeah, I'd yes, be like, bitch, you I picked know. me. Also, so would I be like, you know what? This c <laughs> I hate her. Right? I'm picking her name. But when you try and trick a tricker, you're like trying to fool the whole audience watching the show. I'm exactly. like, girl, just say exactly. what it is. Just say it. It's fine. Literally. As they're doing their scenes, I didn't even write a bunch of notes for them doing their scenes, but I just know one thing. Yana Sophia is like, every time she tells jokes, it's always like, <laughs> my big piece, my is sticking out. I'm like, she is really into blue humor. May I make a deeper comment, just like getting into people. I think she okay. is a little, a bit of a insecure person. So she finds humor in like being dirty sometimes. And I want to shake her up and slap her in the face and go, relax, you're actually really creative. You're actually mm -hmm. very talented. You, you're going to win no matter what. Just be real. But she's always this like, <laughs> like there's a lot. Clown. Silly clown. And I'm like, oh, I want to give you a hug sometimes. I was really tickled when, uh, <laughs> when Eureka, it's just such a Eureka moment. Oh, I like, literally, I'm reading my notes right now. And I'm like, I wrote Eureka out of makeup because I made this comment earlier tonight when Eureka was like, <laughs> and I was, and I went on the mic. I was like, this is Eureka out of makeup. And the audience <laughs> and loved it. I was like, this is great. And if you want great anecdotes like this, please go down to Tailgate every single Thursday with Tracy <laughs> Ford and watch RuPaul's Drag Race. Stop it. But at the end of the episode, it was like, they turned her from an exorcist, like like a d demon victim into like, oh, now I'm an angelic one, but her makeup never changed. Was still, but she, cha I but she was changed funny. her dress with vomit all, still all over it. <laughs> And I was that like- That really tickled me. You didn't like that? <laughs> no, I was like, have a second to like, maybe put like better, like cleaner makeup on to like, like go like, oh, and now I'm cured. Suki, okay, so Suki only had three lines and they're doing all these costume changes. Suki is feeling um, insecure about the scene. And then Suki goes, oh yeah, go ahead and just say my line, bitch. Yeah, what? no. Why would you give your, like, why would you do that? You have three lines. It's like, be an actress, be the forefront. You want to win this competition, do it. Like, yeah. that just did not make sense. It, honestly, it really felt like Suki just laid down and died on this episode. Like, there was a point where I, I was I was watching with Layla, and I just said, oh, my God, Suki just went home. Like, they're going to send Suki home. She really and laid down and just let them run, which is so weird for her. But I think it also is a bigger conversation to be had about how people are so afraid of how they're going to be perceived by the fans. It is huge. You, Huge. girl, you just like, I, I, I'm trying to like keep it together, but you just like, and I was like, yes, it is. Imp but have you not thought about that way? You're a big figure with lots of followers. If you say something wrong, people are going to attack you. Think about yeah. it on the show now, after how popular it has gotten. Many Emmy Awards, right? All these awards, mm -hmm. all this, they, they're thinking about it. And I feel for these girls, right? I'm not crazy, right? You're not crazy. It is valid. A lot of people are, it is hard for them to compete on RuPaul's Drag Race because they're also trying to be, like, come across good on a reality TV show. And they're afraid that the fans are going to read them down. So it's almost impossible for the girl, for some girls to compete on the show, especially if you're on All Stars and you've had a bad experience. And I do think that Silky got it really hard. I think that the fans were really tough on Silky in regards yeah. to her appearance on season 11. Like it was, yeah, she was a little wild. She was rambunctious, but like the fans were just being too much. I used to do a new trivia night in New York City. Uh, and one of my trivia questions, <clears throat> which it was on a Reddit uh, voting of 500,000 votes. Who are the top three most hated queens of RuPaul's Drag Race on Reddit? Do you know who the top three were? 
Oh wow, top three. I mean, I'm assuming since you just said Silky that she's probably one that we're, that we're talking about Silky, she's probably one of them. <clears throat> Which actually surprised um, me when I looked it up as a trivia question because I thought it was gonna be all fun and games, but it wasn't because I read the names and I was like, but Silky is was it on Silky, there. Mimi, 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 I'm first. Jeremy. Well, I want to stop guessing because now I just, I just sound mean. <laughs> you got to keep going, baby. <laughs> How about this? No, keep. Who else, Bob? No, no. 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 top three were Tyra Sanchez, Silky, and but the number mm -hmm. one was. Sherry. I mean. Do you know who the most the most light queen on Reddit is? Oh, uh, who? No! That's why I drink. That's why I drink. I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. <laughs> okay, so the runway this week is redemptions. They have to redeem a look that they up the first time. Well, first of all, that was the episode I went home on, so I'm already triggered, but I cannot wait to see what these girls turn out. I'm excited, I'm excited. So we're gonna start with RuPaul. Okay, first of all, it I, I know I talk about RuPaul being, being 60 a lot, but it's just really, RuPaul is really stunning. Let's go, so Kylie Sonique Love is redoing her Lady Gaga Snatch Game look. Okay, which this is look interesting is choice. amazing. You hate it? It's no, no, no. amazing. I, 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 I evolved. I evolved on this as I, as I went along. <laughs> like the look, because I was like, I don't know how amazing. I feel about this. She looks like a tree from from a Dr. Seuss book. <laughs> yes, uh, the the, the but, Lorax. Yeah, she looks like the Lorax. Yeah. She does look good. I'll give it. That. She does look good. Let's go. On, let's go into Raja. Okay, I want to say this out loud. I think that Raja's first look was good. I think that when Raja went down in the the first time, she looked good, and this time she looks. Even better. Raja is my pick for to win this season. Oh, she stop. looks stop. absolutely stunning. She also has a burlap shawl. <laughs> I didn't like the shawl. I think get rid of the shawl, but the hair and the gown were everything. Let's go on to Pandora Box. I hate it. I Pandora Box. I do not like this dress. I do. What in the Ren Fair is going on? What was the redemption? Oh, it was like matching drag or something. Do you like this dress? Do you like this dress? It's, it's Ren Fair. It's like, what? The oh, yeah, opposites attract. Okay. I always I have to hate... ask when another girl wears a look, I have to go, where would I wear this too? And I looked at it and I went, you look great in it. I think it's really well made. I think it's beautiful. She looks gorgeous in it. I would never wear it. And I don't know where I would go wearing it. Do you see what I'm saying? Okay, this, I, I think it's well made, but that, that doesn't make it good. I mean, this looks like she's going to midsummer and I hate this dress. I don't like it. She's horrible. She said, absolutely die. <laughs> Next. Girl, Ginger Mitch is redoing her future, her futuristic drag look. This is so. This is such an unfortunate garment. Okay, I, I'm gonna make it funny right now. What is the monster called in Big Mouth? Oh, the hormone monster. Hormone monster that was by Maya R Rudolph. That's Ginger Minch in this episode. That look side by side, please pull it up. This is Ginger Minch's Minj's look. They did the lineup. Ginger Minch is officially the shortest person on the season. Sure. Why would you wear scrunchy pant legs if your legs are the shortest ones in the room? Can I rewind and stop your comment at why would you wear scrunchy legs? It's everything was wrong about this outfit. Everything. And then she wore like this thing that did this to her face. Yeah, she and looks, she she looks like thing. a Chipotle burrito. <laughs> With uh radiation. <laughs> yeah, I just I do. I really don't like this look, and I know that the fans are gonna get mad at me for reading Ginger Minj's oh, looks, but like, this is what we're doing here. It's like, I love Ginger Minj so much. I'm actually kind of secretly rooting for her for the win because I love her and she's so talented. But this look, very talented. Come, come it's hideous. On. It's so bad. It's so bad. Too many rouging. Yeah, too much neon. The red hair and the face mask, it's just too much going on. And she's so beautiful. A red wig and, and a so silver cool. dress, I don't think. Yeah, somewhere uh, the Vivian is triggered by looking at this. All right, let's go. Let's move on to Silky <laughs> Nutmeg Ganache. Silky right. Nutmeg Ganache looks 
fucking stunning. She looks I so good. Loved I loved this look. Even. I thought it was phenomenal. Yes. And to bring it back to the root of it, it's the redemption from a disco look, right? That they didn't like. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is yeah. disco. A full jumpsuit fringe of red sequin. She gave Donna Summer. She. I'm like, this yep. is beautiful. So and she looks I so expensive. It. She looks so expensive. Which look was your, out of all these looks? Which one was your favorite? Out of all these looks, go through them, oh. take a look at them. Which one is your oh, favorite? Oh, Silky was so good. Silky was so good. But hold on, I'm gonna pick Silky. Yeah, I'm gonna say because I was torn between Silky and Raja, and I do think Raja looks stunning. But as an outfit in general, I just like Silky's more. She looks insanely expensive. She looks so beautiful. It's so weird to me when a girl goes home looking the best of the week. Like when Kamara Hall went home, she looked so good, but it was like, girl, you gotta go home. Yeah. Everyone has to do this, okay? This is a great moment. Everyone go to 47 minutes and 31 seconds. They go to the back and everyone's like going on about how they feel in, in <laughs> Trinity. It's like, no one celebrated me. So she says it and then Raja, oh. Raja makes this face. She goes, Everybody, can we please take a moment to please acknowledge our sister, Miss Trinity, and tell her that she did an amazing job. <laughs> it really got me together. And she did, but like, she was Oprah. And then she went, when she was doing like the final like rundown sitting at the couch, she was abusing absolute power corrupts absolutely. And I thought that- Well, what I wrote down, that's so funny you said that, because I wrote down, what in the Ayanla Van Zet is what going on? What in the Marxist it was like, instead of <laughs> is this? <laughs> like, instead of being, instead of being like, why do you think she goes, let me tell you something, baby, you are not trash. You are great. Lift your head up. Walk with yourself proud. Move forward into the world and say, I am a winner. I am a soldier. I deserve to win. I am going to send you home. Also, she literally told <laughs> everyone, you're saying. With that said, I'm going to send you home. <laughs> she told every girl, oh, baby, you have nothing to worry about. And she told every She was being girl the that, biggest oh, good, bullshit artist. And I got to say this, the more she got, the more I liked her. <laughs> I love it on the way out the door, Suki Nutmeg and Ash just reminded everyone of all the bad critiques everyone else got. Suki on the way out, she was like, oh, by the way, Jan got bad critiques for this, Akira got bad critiques. I was like, oh my God, Suki is really throwing some flames on the way out the door. I was good for her, I was good for her. <laughs> She was like, I'm gonna leave, I'm gonna throw these Molotov cocktails at everything. I was like, okay, girl, It was very Willem of her, wasn't it? <laughs> I'm really gagged that Silky and Akira picked each other. I could not believe yeah. that Silky and Akira chose each other's lipstick. I was like, oh, wow. Can we right. talk about Laganja Estranja falling from the ceiling? No one makes an entrance like Laganja. No one. To this day, she has the best entrance on Drag Race ever. And that jump split from the was that girl can make if that girl can enter a room. Laganja beat Trinity in the amazing, lip sync. Amazing, amazing. I thought they both did a pretty good job, but I, I did. Laganja did. I mean, also RuPaul loves when when a girl does a split. RuPaul's reaction after over a hundred after almost two hundred episodes, RuPaul <laughs> is still like. <sighs> <laughs> And you can clock it. You it's can like, like take that screenshot. Like, and I'm like, all right. It's like Ru, it's a split. Can it's I ask a you a question? If RuPaul said it's a tie, I would have believed it because Trinity actually did a great job. I was actually thinking that because I think that Trinity did a really good job pacing herself. I agree with you. I absolutely agree. With I you. watched it and I was so like, Thorgy. Yeah, I would never want to be up against uh, either one of those queens, to be honest. So let me ask you two questions. Who do you think, who do you, who are you rooting for and who you, who do you think is going to win? Uh, I think it would be very cool of the show to uh, crown a winner with Kylie uh, as a trans advocate and a cool chick that mm -hmm. was an old season into the new season, right? Am I crazy? I, I think that Kylie, I think Kylie's doing a really good job. I think that right for right now, I'm st still rooting for Raja. I think Raja is just yeah, I'm, I'm objectively to think doing a very good job on the show. 
I'm trying to think through. I like she's really nobody's good asked me this question about like who should win. I'm like, I think how about this? I'll say this. It is way too soon to ask me that stupid question because we're gonna be doing every single week together. Ask me in like two. I'm gonna ask you every week. I'm gonna ask you. I'm gonna ask you every week. I love you, Thorgy. I really love you. This is episode two of season three of Purse First Impressions, and uh, we will see you all next week. I can't oh, wait till the next you. episode. Can't wait.